Now today we are going to solve a question on application of derivative. The question is if a polynomial function p of x is given as a polynomial function of degree 101 highest and rest of the following terms then we have to prove at least one root of p of x lies between this range. Now this question is from application of derivative but you don't know the part which you have to start right now because this belongs to which subtopic. Now the starting of the solution will feel a bit absurd but in the end that will open your eye because the solution is very unique here. Now let's say f of x capital F of x is a function which is equal to integration of p of x and this is I'm taking from my side. Let's integrate this and we'll see what we are getting here. So we'll get 51 x is to power 102 here divided by 102 minus 2 3 2 3 times x is to power 101 whole divided by 101 here minus 45 divided by 2 x square here and then 1035 x here. Now I think something will cancel out here 51 and then 102 will cancel out 2 times and 2323 3 will cancel out with 101 that is 23 times and rest of the term as it is. <coughs> now throughout I am going to take x by 2 common here. So if I take x by 2 common here remaining will be x is to power here 101 as you can see. Now this is 23 times and I have taken 2 common in denominator so I am going to multiply by 2 here so we will get this as 46 x is to power 100 because I have taken x common here. Now remaining is I think 1 by 2 I can take common here and then the remaining is 45 x and then remaining here is I have to multiply by 2 here so we will get this as 2070 here. So this is the term remaining. Now further I am going to simplify this so the capital F of x is equal to this and further I am going to simplify. So this is equal to x by 2 times. Now between these two terms I can take x is to power 100 common. So remaining is x minus 46. And between these two terms I think you can take 45 common here. So remaining is x minus 46 because 46 into 45 will be 207, 2070. Now throughout I can th I think I can take something common here. So x by 2 as it is here multiplied by I think we will get this as x is to power 100 minus 45 and remaining is x minus 46 here. Now we got this as capital F of x. Now I am going to solve this in the next slide. Now let's equate capital F of x is equal to 0. So if I equate this is equal to 0, we will get this values of x as x is equal to, we will get this as uh, 0 and 1 is 100 root of 45 and one more value you will get that is 46. So on this values f of x will be equal to 0. So I am going to notice three things here and I am going to prove this one of the root lies in this range in a style. Let's say first note is f of x here is a continuous function. In the range you can say 100 to 45 and then till 46 here. Second note is f of x is differentiable as you can see in the same range. Now third is f of 46 is equal to 0. Similarly it will be equal to f of uh, 45th root of 100 sorry 100 root of 45. So on these two values f of x will be equal to 0. Now these three are the conditions of Rolle's theorem and using Rolle's theorem can I say that there exists a c value. A c value belongs to the 100 root of 45 to 46 for which f dash of x will be 0. What is f dash of c actually? If I differentiate this function again I will get p of x because integration of p of x was f of x. So here this meaning of this is equal to p of c will be equal to 0 and there exists at least one c for which it is equal to 0. So if p of c is equal to 0 that means c is one of the root here. And the root, range of the root is, is lying between the 100 root of 45 to 46 and hence prove and that will be all.